please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you. Hey folks, in this video we will cover the history of Linux. So we will start from the very beginning. What was there before Linux? Before Linux, it was an operating system called Unix. And by the way, it still exists. Developed in 1970 at AT&T Bell Labs by Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie. Unix was a revolutionary operating system for its time, introducing many features that would become standard. However, Unix was not freely available and had various proprietary versions. Then came GNU project. In 1983, Richard Stallman launched the GNU, GNU, it's not Unix, project, with the aim of creating a free Unix-like operating system. While many tools and utilities were developed under the GNU project, a complete free OS was missing a kernel. Then Linux was born. In 1991, a 21-year-old Finland student named Linus Torvalds started developing a free operating system kernel as a hobby project. On August 25th, 1991, Linus announced his project on the Minix News Group with the famous words, I am doing a free operating system. Just a hobby. Won't be big and professional like GNU. All right. Then version 0.01 .01 released in September 1991. This version, or very first version of the Linux kernel, was not functional, but was released to the public to view and comment upon. Then came version 0.02, released later in 1991. This version was functional and combined with the utilities from the GNU project. It formed a complete free operating system. This combination of Linux kernel with the tools from the GNU project came to be commonly known as Linux. Although some advocate for it to be called GNU slash Linux. All right, let's see the growth and evolution of Linux. In early 1990s, Linux rapidly evolved through collaboration over the internet. Distributions often referred to as distros, like Slackware and Debian, emerge, making it easier for users to get a complete Linux-based operating system. Then in 1994, 1.0 version was released with 176,000 lines of code. Then late 1990s, commercial interest in Linux grew. Companies like Red Hat and SUSE provided commercial support for Linux, making it viable for business use. Then in 2000, Linux saw significant adoption in server markets. It became the OS of choice for various emerging markets like embedded system and supercomputers. Then Android in 2007, Google released the Android OS for mobile devices, which is based on the Linux kernel. This gave Linux an enormous boost in the mobile market. All right, let's see what is it doing today. Linux has grown from a hobbyist project into a powerful force in computing, powering everything from mobile devices, personal computers, and servers to mainframes and supercomputers. The principles of open source on which Linux is based have also influence the development of various other software projects and even fields outside of software. So simply put, the story of Linux isn't about a computer system. 
It's about great people from all over the world working together and making this a reliable, secure, and open source operating system. Many thanks to them. If you want to learn more about Linux, check out my best-selling course on Linux at udemy.com or you could go straight to my website utclsolutions.com and you will find the exact same course there.